Wright's Lady Panthers basketball team is currently undefeated, but one of their players has secured a much more important win. It's Brady Williams is here to tell us senior Alexis Nation is back on the court after suffering a stroke early in the school year. So according to the National Institutes of Health, the average stroke patient is pushing 70 years old. Alexis Nation was 17. It was a shock, but no one was shocked to see how ready she was to get back on the court. Since elementary school, basketball has been natural for Alexis Nation. I don't know, I like having a ball in my hands. So. She's a shooting guard. It's what she likes best. And in her senior year, she says it's always been good. A, a lot of it is the team, getting to play with a great group of, group of girls, group of people. But one day in October, she was taken out of the gym. I couldn't speak. Like, I, I sounded like it was, it was bad. Her parents noticed she was acting out of the ordinary, almost childish. My dad, he's, he's in the military, so he did uh, a stroke protocol. That's when they knew she needed to go to the hospital, where they had her under observation. They put me on a bunch of stuff. I was still running a bunch of tests, because they weren't for sure. They're like, no way a 17-year-old can have a stroke. A hole between two chambers of her heart allowed a clot to go to her brain, and sure enough, she had a stroke at 17. While she was in the hospital, her team and Coach Brock Stone were shocked. It's a little scary at first when you hear that about, about a teenager. Meanwhile, she was focused on getting back on the court. And the first text she sent to that, she sent me after I had sent her a text after she had had the stroke was, Can I still come in and shoot tomorrow? And my mom's like, you can't go shoot tomorrow. They think you had a stroke. In fact, she still needed surgery on her heart. And I'm like, well, but I'm fine now. Like, I was ready to get back to it. She had that surgery on November 1st, and she is back to it. I wanted to be back to what I was doing normally, my normal routine. Basketball, gym, school. What's not normal for her is how the community has reacted. I mean, I'm not a person who really likes attention, so I'm just, I'm just like, I like I'm, I'm trying to, but... At the same time, like, I never knew that many people really, really cared. Her team visited her in the hospital. T-shirts have been made, and they may have broken record attendance for one of their scrimmages. There's a lady who texts me just about every day, checking in on me, and they talk about me all the time. Like, they're like the sweetest group of people. She says she's okay with the attention if it means people can learn from what she's been through. I had a small stroke. I mean, that's still significant, but after a small stroke comes, comes a big stroke. She says if you ever notice any signs of a stroke, you should go to the hospital. It's what she did, and it's kept her on the court. So we'll include some of those signs of a stroke on our website, 14news.com. Alexis has her first home game on December 6th. She says she has reason to believe it's going to be a pretty good turnout.